Hey there, empaths and fellow energy sensitives. So I stumbled upon this book a while ago, and it's called The Empath Survival Guide by Dr. Judith Orlov. And I figured I'd share some thoughts for anyone who's been feeling a bit too much lately. So The Empath Guide to survival is like a guide for folks like you and me who tend to soak up everything around them. Dr. Orlov breaks down what it means to be an empath with no fluff, just some real talk about handling the overwhelming bits of life. Because if you are an empath or an energy sensitive, there are bound to be moments in your life that are or have been a bit overwhelming. So let's dig into the book and talk a bit about what it's about, because Dr. Orlov goes into the nitty gritty of being an empath. She shares stories and strategies for not drowning in other people's energies, in other people's vibrations, because let's face it, it's not all rainbows and sunshine, but it is real. So I want to share some key takeaways in that I found in this book, things that I thought were worth sharing with you guys. And the first key takeaway is owning your empathy. And with that, I have to say that Dr. Orloff really gets it. She talks about owning your empathic nature without turning into some kind of hermit, because Let's face it, we just need our space. Even when you are an extroverted like I am, there are moments where you just cannot people. I regularly have moments where I just cannot people. I cannot do people. And then I need to be by myself. I need my space. So own your empathy is the first key takeaway. The second one is surviving the emotional onslaught. And she gives some legit advice on surviving this, on surviving the emotional onslaught that we as empaths, that we as energy sensitive beings are faced to deal with every single day again. And it's not about being antisocial. It's about finding balance in a world that can sometimes just be a bit too much. The third key takeaway is dealing with the energy drainers. And she's got some great tips and tricks for dealing with those energy drainers that I like to call energy vampires. You know, the ones that just suck out all the life from you and leave you feeling deflated and empty when they leave. And trust me, We've all got a few of those in our lives. So I can not imagine that you have no clue what I'm talking about with energy drainers or energy vampires. The fourth key takeaway is setting boundaries without feeling guilty. And this is an important one because many people feel that setting a boundary is selfish or that they are being a jerk. So how do you set boundaries without feeling like a jerk? If you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have some tips or some advice, it would be awesome if you would share that be below this video. But in her book, she has that cover too. And it's a real game changer to figure out how to do this without feeling guilty. And the fifth one, the last one that I want to share with you guys is accepting your introverted awesomeness. Because even though I am an extroverted introvert, meaning I also love going to parties, I can be the life of the party. There are moments where I love surrounding myself with people and uh, can be around a lot of people. There are also really moments where, like I said, I cannot people. I can barely animal that day and I need to be in nature. I need to be by myself. So you need to accept this introverted awesomeness of yours. And this book 
it's like a permission to slip the embrace of your introverted empathic self without apologizing for its quiet rebellion, if you will. So also let's talk about uh, her writing style. And because Dr. Orler's writing is like having a chat with a really good friend who totally gets the struggle. She doesn't use fancy words. She gives genuine advice and it comes from someone who's been there, someone who understands. Personally, this book really hit home for me. It's like Dr. Orloff tapped into my extroverted, introverted, empathic struggles that I often keep to myself, that we often keep to ourselves. And it's not a fix at all. And when we keep it in, and this book, this book is like a comforting guide. So would I recommend The Empath's Survival Guide? Heck yeah, especially if you are tired of feeling like you're drowning in everybody else's shit. The book is not a quick fix, but it is a companion for the journey. It offers so much insight, so much comfort, like a good companion would. So in conclusion, the Empath's Survival Guide by Dr. Judith Orloff is like a quiet alley in the chaos. It's not loud, it's not flashy, but it's real and relatable. So if you're looking for some quiet guidance, maybe give it a shot. The link to buy it will be in the comments below this video. So for right now, I want to thank you for hanging out with me in this quiet corner of the internet. Take care of yourselves and until next time, stay true through your introverted vibes. For right now, have an amazing rest of your day and hope to see you again soon for the next book review.